On January 20th, Cal State Long Beach announced that a 2022 commencement will take place at the Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Graduating students later held a protest in response to the lack of a traditional graduation. The university then released a survey to gauge student opinion and provided three possible options for the ceremony. On February 25th, President Jane Close Connolly announced that the university would continue with its original commencement plans. A lot has happened in the 2022 commencement struggle, but that still begs the question. Why choose to hold the ceremony at Angel Stadium to begin with? With all the money and discussion that went into its planning, you'd expect there to have been some kind of way to mediate the losses of this controversy. What gives? Typically, Cal State Long Beach graduation ceremonies were held outdoors on upper campus or on the Jack Rose track. The ceremonies were the usual. Students would be called up by the dean, walk onto the main stage, receive their diploma, and return. Now, commencement is bound to Angel Stadium, with many stages, no name reading, and no main walk. Was all of this to cut costs and commencement expenses following the pandemic? On October 22, 2021, Cal State Long Beach signed a purchase order with Angel Stadium to rent the venue for $751,200. This was a hundred couple thousand less than the Angel Stadium license fee that the university paid for the 2021 ceremony. However, the total projected cost for the upcoming commencement was over $1.1 million, while the available revenue in the commencement budget was only a little over $860,000. Despite this year's cost being lower, the school would still be operating at nearly a $300,000 budget deficit. So why still rent from Angel Stadium? We were projecting out a few years, and we were seeing that we were just completely outgrowing our facilities. You know, so that we're not admitting more students, more students are graduating. At a capacity of 3,500 people, Walter Pyramid was the largest and most feasible indoor venue on campus. But with COVID restrictions in the short term and projected higher graduation rates in the long term, the Pyramid struggled to be a reliable option for graduates. The other thing we faced when we started planning last semester was people had been put out of business, the usual people weren't available. We weren't sure we could get the chairs, we, could, we weren't sure we could get the, the big screens that we used during commencement. So the other lure of the Angel Stadium is that they have all that stuff there already. The lack of sufficient staffing and resources to host the ceremony on campus motivated the university's deal with Angel Stadium. But what happened to the traditional ceremony that the majority of survey responders voted for? Even if 90% of the class had responded, we just couldn't make it work. That was the thing. We couldn't make it work. Then we went back to them and said, well, what about? How could we do it if everybody's name was read and they walked across the stage? And so there were many long hours and days where, you know, both sides were talking in, in good faith, uh, but just couldn't make it happen. For now, it seems that the limitations of off-campus ceremonies will continue to be the reality for this year's commencement. However, the future looks bright for 2023 graduates as the university is working to secure traditional ceremonies once more. So Cal State Long Beach students may be able to tuck away their red baseball caps soon. I just have to say, sometimes when you, even when you care about somebody, you can't do everything they want. And that's the, I felt like I was in that position. I, I do care about their experience, but I can't always do everything they want. So that's kind of the bottom line of leadership, right? <laughs>